purpose of this show, the of this show is to guide you to realign, to realign with habits that get you to live the life, live the life you've always dreamed of. Right. This, this is the Habit-Based Lifestyle Podcast with Jesse Ewing. This is the Habit-Based Lifestyle Where you can access your full potential right now Finally break free from destructive habits That dream life, if you want it, you can have it This is where you transform your health, mind, business, and relationships Or do nothing and keep your life the way it is But if you're ready for change, you're in the right place this is where you're gonna learn how to live a habit-based lifestyle You, you, you are tuning in to the Habit-Based Lifestyle Podcast With, with, with your host, Jesse Yule This is this, this is the habit-based lifestyle. Let's go. In this episode, I want to introduce you to how we blame all results on things outside of ourselves. These things that we act like we have no control over. You see, over the last week, uh, we're literally a week into 2020. And I've had a few of my coaching clients and a few people I've interviewed for our program simply struggling with results in certain areas, but not really knowing or at least being aware of what was going on. And I wanted to talk about this today because I think this is something that comes up for lots of people when it comes to, you know, weight loss, when it comes to their health, when it even comes to relationships. And when it comes to business, we tend to blame or put the blame on something outside of ourselves. And so many times, you know, this blame is what keeps us from actually dominating our goals, dominating what we want and dominating really to, to grow and pursue whatever result we're after. But the only way that I really see clients stop this blame and start dominating to get results is by simply doing this one thing. And it's, it's being accountable, you know, it's being accountable, you know, not to me as the coach, but to the person that you are looking at or that they're looking at in the mirror every single day, you see, it's really easy to say, well, I look in the mirror every day. I do my hair I put on deodorant, I get dry, I put on lotion, but do you actually look at that man or woman in the mirror? Not look past, not just glance, but actually look at that man or woman in the air. You see, the results you want in life are really simple. See, it's not about the money, it's not about the food, It's not about the workout. It's not about, you know, your spouse. It's not about them cleaning. You know, it's not about them, how how they're showing up. It's not about your coach and giving you the wrong program. It's not about your coach or your trainer giving you the wrong diet. It's not about your parents. It's not about your bank account. It's not about your business. And this is one of my favorite. It's not about the quality of your leads. It's not about your clients either. You see, in life, in your results, it's all about you. That's right. It's all about you. Because here's what people tend to do. They blame other people. They blame other circumstances for their lack of results. And when we blame other people, we actually give away our power to that person. Like we take, imagine you have this superpower and when you blame someone else, you are now giving that superpower away to them. Now, I'm going to keep painting this out. When we blame our spouse, we give away our power to show up in the relationship. Now, think about this. We blame our spouse 
you know, for maybe not putting out, having sex, lots of guys uh, probably could raise their hands to this. But listen, when you blame your wife for not wanting to have sex with you, not wanting to be intimate with you, what you're actually doing is giving her that power. And now you walk around a victim. And guess who doesn't want to sleep with a victim? Your wife. Your wife doesn't want to sleep with a victim. She's not turned on by a victim. She's not turned on by someone who mopes around. So if you want to change that, I'm going to get to it. But for right now, I want you to sit into this place. And ladies, no husband wants to help clean up around the house. If you're blaming him for not showing up at home, if you're blaming him for not doing all these things at home, he doesn't want, that doesn't make him want to do those things. When you become a victim around your own home, he doesn't want to show up for you at home. Then we go into blaming our parents. See, if you blame your parents for everything that went wrong in your childhood, you're giving away your power to move on from your past because as much as you blame the past, you have to also give them credit for everything that's happened after that, good or bad. But when you blame them for what happened in your past, you're giving up your power to move on into the future. When we blame the church, I get so tired of hearing this. We blame the church for our relationship with God, yet it has nothing to do with the church or the people in it. And if you're using that as an excuse, you've lost your power and you've lost your relationship with God. And it has nothing to do with the church and it has nothing to do with the people in the church, your relationship with God. But you're giving up that power to have the relationship that you actually want. I can't tell you how many people say, well, I don't believe in church. I don't believe in, you know, what the church stands for is good. But guess what? When you say that you're giving up your power to have a relationship with God or whatever you believe in that higher power. But I can tell you so many people use that excuse, but it's in the way and getting in the way of them having an actual relationship with God, when we blame our quality of leads in business, I can't tell you how many times I hear people talk about, well, I'm getting leads, but the quality is not good. Well, did you call them? No, I didn't. How, are you reaching out to them multiple times a day? Well, I called them once, but they didn't call me back. You were giving up your power to create new business because you tried to contact that person one time or you don't think the quality of lead that you're actually getting is good enough to call. Well, guess what? They're filling out your paperwork. So that should be quality enough. And if you can't tell them some other place to go to get help, then you shouldn't even be in the business that you're doing. Here's one of my favorites. When we blame food, we blame fast food. We blame bad food. We blame expensive food. When we blame food or I just like food, when we blame stress eating, when we do this, we're giving up our power to change the way that we actually eat. Think about this. This is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard in my life. I just like sweets. Well, guess what you just gave your power to? You gave your power to sweets. So of course, you're not going to change the way you eat. Well, I just like carbs. Well, guess what? You just give your power away to carbs. I just like to eat. You're giving your way your power to change anything that you do when it comes to food. But stop it. Stop blaming food for the excuses that you have because it takes the same amount of power to blame food as it does to change your relationship with food. You've just made one a habit. And all you have to do is just switch that around. See, when we blame or when we use stress, I'm just stressed. I'm just anxious. 
I'm just really worried. I'm just fearing this. This is an excuse for you to actually stay stuck, to give up your power and stay stuck in your place. Now think about how often you may feel stressed. You may feel anxiety. You may feel worry. You may feel doubt. You may feel fear. These are all normal things that we feel. I feel these things. And there's not a day that goes by that I don't feel one or multiple of these. But if I use it as my excuse, I'm giving up my power to stay stuck in that state. If I use stress as my excuse to not do something or the reason why I can't, I'm giving up that power. I'm giving up that. I'm using that excuse and giving up my power to stay stuck. If I'm using fear as an excuse, hey, I didn't do this because I'm afraid. That's giving me the power to stay stuck. And so a lot of times we feel stuck because we use being stuck as the excuse of not moving forward or not actually doing the shit that we know we need to do. And guess what? Yeah, there is medical terms for stress, anxiety, worry, doubt, fear. You Maybe you need to take some medicine, but Everybody that I've talked to and that I've coached that have, have been on these medications, they don't even know if these actually work anymore. They don't actually know if the medication works anymore, but they're afraid. They're afraid to get off the medication because they're not sure what might happen. They fear what might happen. But if you continue to use it as an excuse, you're giving up your power to the medication. You're giving up your power to the excuse. You're giving up your power to stay stuck in the current place that you've been in, not just for a few months, but for years. But stop blaming. Stop blaming other people. Stop blaming things outside of yourself. Stop using excuses. Stop being a victim to your results. Just simply say, hey, I don't want this. This doesn't this isn't what I'm really committed to because at least from that place, you're being honest with yourself. See, when you're using blame, when you're doing this with other people, when you're doing this with food, when you're doing this with things outside of you, you're staying stuck and being a victim and you have no way to change that. You have no way to change your current results or your future results if you stay stuck in blame. So I want you to think about this. I heard this a few years ago at a, a program I was in and it stuck with me. It was the ultimate word of accountability that I've ever heard the phrase. And it goes a little something like this. I choose my feelings it's not about the other person. And if you want to wipe out other person, it's not about the diet. It's not about my wife. It's, it's not about my parents. It's not about my leads. I choose my feelings. It's not about fill in the blank with the, whatever the hell you want. Because it's never about another person, another thing. It's never about another diet, another coach. I choose my feelings. It's not about another person. I choose how I show up. Fill in the blank how you want to show up. This is the way that you actually have power. I choose how I show up. I choose my feelings. I choose whether I follow this plan or not. I choose to live in the present moment. I choose to move on from my past. I choose the relationship that I want. I choose the quality of leads that I get. I choose the amount of money that I make. Because guess what? This is the rawest form of accountability that you will ever have. I choose my feelings. It's never about another person, another thing, whatever. But if you truly want to make a change in 2020, you're going to have to start by being accountable to yourself. Now, the first, pro the first part of this is step one. 
understand that you have to take accountability. You have to choose your feelings. You have to choose and, and come to the conclusion that it's not about the person. It's not about the diet. It's not about the problem even. It's all about you choosing your feelings. Step two, you're going to have to drop the blame game. What you focus on grows. I get to choose how I show up. I get to choose everything in my life, whether I like it or not. And that gives me the most power. Step three is to shift. Stop focusing on the problem at the level of the problem and focus on what you want in the situation. So think about this. I could either focus on the problem at the level of the problem, and that very rarely ever gets solved, or I could focus on what I actually want in the situation. They both take the same amount of energy, but it's my ability to choose which one actually gives me what I want. And it's much easier to focus on solving the problem by looking at it, hey, here's what I want versus looking at the problem. So start focusing on what you truly want in the situation versus focusing on the problem. You can focus on the problem or you can focus on what you want your actual outcome to be, what you want your results to be. But here's what I know. No coach can hold you more accountable than you can hold yourself accountable. No coach can hold you more accountable than you do yourself. So don't get in the place of where you're blaming your coach, your trainer, your mentor, your, your wife, whoever that is. Because at the end of the day, I choose my feelings. It's never about another person. I want to thank you guys for being on here today. Uh, I was pumped up for this and this message. And if it resonates with you, I'd love to hear from you. But if you're looking to connect further with a group of like-minded people, join myself and so many others in the Habit-Based Lifestyle Secrets group on Facebook, where I'll be dropping daily habits to help you live to your full potential. You want to be one of our next case studies and begin living this habit-based lifestyle. If you have questions, concerns, comments, feel free to reach out to me, jesse at habitbasedlifestyle.com. Until next episode, have a great day. The purpose of this show, the of this show is to guide you to realign, guide you to realign with habits that get you to live the life, live the life. You've always dreamed of. Right. This this is the Habit Based Lifestyle Podcast with Jesse.